Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This is what it looks like here. This is not a first impressions. I have been using this every day for a couple of weeks now because if you can't tell, I am in love with this stuff and I want to show you guys how it applies and just tell you kind of why I like it so much. Alright, some quick info from the website that I'm reading from my laptop. Um, it retails for $14, which is such a good price for a higher end concealer. I'm in love with the price. It says, ideal for under eye use, this gel serum concealer with 21% pigment is feather light and never settles into fine lines. It is infused with pineapple ceramide, which helps to improve skin texture and promote brightness. And this forma formula is buildable in color and coverage without adding texture due to high level of pigments. The unique dome applicator acts like a cotton swab and provides the perfect amount every time. Just dip, dot, and blend. So it comes in 20 shades. That's incredible. That is so many different shades. The one I have is 03. I wish, oh it does, fondant. That's the name of it. So I have shade 03 here. I'll show you what the applicator looks like. As far as um, the whole product combined, the applicator is probably my least favorite part. And it's funny because they rave about it here on the website. That's what it looks like. It's not a doe foot applicator. It's it's rounded on the end there. And when you go to touch it, it's actually really, really hard. Like that's not squishy in the least. So they're saying that you should dab it on and then blend and pat in with your finger. And if you use that method, I guess this is good, but I typically like to use my beauty blender. I like to swipe on concealers and then use my beauty blender to blend it in. So this just makes it a little bit more tricky. Still doable. This is probably my least favorite part of the concealer. All right, so placing it under my eye, I like to place it in my under eye area, kind of smudge it out a bit as I do it and drag it up my cheekbone. Just kind of however you place concealer. I use concealer as a concealer and a highlighter of the face as well. So I always drag it up my cheekbone. I also bring down some down the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna grab a little bit more, place it in this area here. I tend to get quite dark in here and then a bit to highlight the bottom of my chin so as far as the consistency it's extremely thin and lightweight I'll swatch it for you on my hand here it is featherweight definitely it just feels like water but as you can see as I'm blending it out it's got amazing coverage at the same time so it's very very light but really good coverage I'm gonna quickly go ahead and blend this in with my beauty blender before it completely sets. There's one eye there and I can come up super close to my mirror and I still can't even see the product sitting on my skin, which is awesome. Just for comparison, if you're curious what kind of concealer lover I am, my favorite is the MAC Pro Longwear because it's very thin in consistency with great coverage and creases the least amount on me. So that is my favorite up until this one. This one gives that one a run for its money. It's equally thin in consistency, almost better coverage in my opinion, and more like light catching properties. And as I'll show you throughout the day here, every concealer creases a tiny bit on me, but this one and the MAC one are definitely the best. And this one has the best price, so definitely a win. So there it is there, super quick and easy to blend in and highlighted and concealed, and it's amazing. Alright, so I just went ahead and put the rest of my makeup on, and I did put the NARS Translucent Setting Powder on top, which I always put on top of my foundation and concealers. I'll come in close so that you can see what it looks like. Um, as you can see, it hasn't really settled into any fine lines. I do have quite a few fine lines happening right under my eyelashes here, but so far it's held up really, really well just putting on the powder. I'm going to show you what it looks like towards the end of the day. It's currently... 11:59 a.m. So I will check back in and show you what it looks like later. All right, so it is now 7:22. It's been about seven and a half hours. I have worn this makeup all day. I haven't touched up anything. I haven't repowdered. Nothing like that. I've done lots of things today. So put it to the test. Coming up close. Um, like I said, every single concealer cre creases on me to some extent. So you can see a tiny bit in my fine lines here, but like you wouldn't notice if you were just sitting in front of me unless you came up this close to me and was like, hey, what's going on? But that is pretty darn good. Um, everywhere else, it still looks great. It's very brightening. Even on my nose, it's still there. Uh, my chin, I tend to rub, so not so much. But up here, 
I mean, it, it holds up like any of my higher end holy grail concealers like the MAC Pro Longwear, but it's cheaper and I like it a little bit better. So I would highly recommend it if you're on the market for a new concealer. Definitely give it a go. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.